So me, me, Dej, Shake, and Iman went to the same college, innit? But me and Dej used to live close together. Yeah. Mm. So Dej used to come and knock for me in the morning, innit? Yeah. So he's walking to my, and I used to live in a, a shop. So my dad used to run the business, yeah. and we used to live upstairs, innit? Oh, yeah. so it's, a shop. Shop. it's a corner shop, it's a corner shop. I didn't say it, I didn't say it, I didn't say it, I didn't say it. It's literally on the corner, it's, like, it's literally a corner shop. So he used to come through now, he used to, he used to bop over, he used to come in, walk in the shop, and then he used to buy Jaffa cakes, because he's, he's addicted to it like his crack. But, <laughs> so he buys Jaffa cakes, my dad gives him a sweet discount, yeah? And then... Discount every time, fam. <laughs> every time. The, the Jaffa cakes were already discounted, you know they got the 79 the yellow, and he would be like, give me 50, give me 50. Wait, wait. So my dad would nice him, so my dad would nice him. He knew what he was doing, fam. <laughs> you know when you sell the crack cheaper to the drug? This man... He's my favorite customer. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my, f- my dad's my dad's I was light up, fam. So we'll come in and buy the Jaffa cakes and we'll knock with me at the same time, innit? And obviously there's no way for my dad to like to, to kind of call he has to come into some like little alleyway between the shop and, and the flat, innit? Yeah. Yeah. So he'll call me, yeah, but he's still standing in the shop while he's doing it. And the guy will just shout bare loud. Yeah. He'll be like, Vishal! <laughs> Vishal! <laughs> Did you downstairs? He's buying Jaffa cakes. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what, what? Like, okay, he's here, but why are you telling me his transaction? <laughs> Girl with the floor, but I take time. I'm too busy looking at the waistline. She moves when I car, don't waste time Don't think too much, cause it takes life She got waste men calling all day But you know I only move with the sharks, eh? Couple, couple drinks on the table, the last wave Had meerkats on their mind all day She moves like she ain't got no problem Lads, inflation is real How can busman try charge me £2 for free wings and chips? When I first got a bank account, fam, I was so poor, fam. This was the. B- I'm, I think I got a bank account just because my mum knew about the EMA thing, innit? Yeah. So it was like it was like Collect. 16, yeah, where you get the EMA. My mum, my mum was, my mum literally saw EMA as benefits for her. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. we're getting paid, we're getting paid. You're getting EMA. I said we, we EMA, we EMA, yeah. Free money. <laughs> Make sure they wake you up early for school as well. Yeah, exactly. You can't be late. You need a bonus. You need a hundred pound. You need a hundred pound bonus. Oh, yeah, you got a hundred pound bonus every like three months as well, innit? Yeah. yeah. But it was mad because it's like, although we were getting money, it was like we were spending on nothing. Yeah. I just didn't know how to manage money, fam. So it's like I'll spend bare money on food, yeah. bare dumbness, fam. So I remember one time I had, for some reason, I had no money. I had like 20p. Like I had 20p. <laughs> and you know 20p, like you keep the 20p. Now, if you have a 20p, yeah. you dash it in the corner. Yeah. But the 20p, them times, you keep the 20p, you fam. And I was hungry. And I remember KFC just brought in this new thing where it's like two wings for 99p, fam. <laughs> <laughs> but I only had 20p, yeah. So then I went to the bank, yeah, and I checked my account. <laughs> And I've got 79p in, in the bank, innit? <laughs> so I'm looking for the option to withdraw 79p. And it was like, nah, you can't withdraw it. You have to go into the bank to do it, fam. So I was like, cool. I'm going, like, I need to eat. I'm going into the bank to withdraw the 79p, innit? So then I queue up. You know them queues used to be long back in the bank? Back in, they were bare long, like bare people. I'm in the queue for like 20, 30 minutes, yeah? And then I get to the front and I'm like, oh, can I withdraw? This is my bank card. Can I withdraw 79p? And the woman looks at me like, you want to withdraw 79 <laughs> You're like, shh, shh, shh. I'm like, bruv, it's not Swahili, bruv. Withdraw the money, fam. You can see what I've got. You can see the problem that I've got in my account, fam. 70, you see 79 people, withdraw the money, fam. It's better unprofessional from her, though. Yeah, it's mad. She should say that. Because she was, she, was, she, was, she was asking me, she was like, like question, Clive, fam, do you want to withdraw? Did you say 79 I'm, what do you mean, fam? You see spit come on the glass. You know the glass that I'm looking at? You, you see bare spit come on the glass. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Fam? Everybody, 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 everybody was looking like, rah, like, fucking, is it this guy wants to fucking withdraw? Like, what's going on in, at the front? Huh? Yeah, you made a scene of it, man. You I made a insecure. scene, fam. But at the end of the day, she, she opened the, you know they got that cash machine with the, with the, 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 the they've got the pennies there as well, fam. <laughs> give, me, give me that in 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so there's one time, yeah, I must have went back to Nigeria to go back to my roots, yeah? Went or send back? Oh. <laughs> Bruv, I went back, yeah? Unlike you uncultured swines, oh. yeah? <laughs> You're moving crazy. <laughs> Astaghfirullah. <laughs> I've been to Ghana. Oh. <laughs> I've been back to home in hospital. <laughs> I, no, I genuinely went back to Nigeria. Yeah, when? I was six. <laughs> it's don't irrelevant. count, man. It don't count. <laughs> what? But anyway, yeah. So there was one time, you must have been travelling to another city. So obviously, when you travel on the rolls, you need to load up on your breakfast because it's mm. a long journey. Mm. So I must have had egg and yam, mm. Milo, mm. sweet bread. Mm. Old bonus stew. Oh. It's always fish, bro. It's sweet. What do you mean? <laughs> you love centre backs too much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the start of the journey now, yeah. I just realised that what I'd done was actually quite stupid because the way it is in Nigeria, we ain't got no service stations, you know, where you can stop off, have a nap, go toilet. <laughs> so on the roads, only three things: you driving. The wilderness and SARS. That's it. <laughs> what they don't sell pure water no more. Nah, nah, they still do, they still do, they still do, they still do, they still do. Yeah, what's up, yeah, what's up? <laughs> anyway, bro, halfway through the journey, yeah, my stomach just starts moving mad. You know when you can feel at like, the exit, yeah? yeah. Uh. Start speaking in tongues and everything. Run the bubble! So I so I tell my mum, like, mum, like, I need to go. So it's just, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're too down, fam. <laughs> so my mom, she hands me my tools, yeah? She gives me a bottle of water uh, and a toilet roll. Yeah. And she tells the driver, oh yeah, oh God, pull up. <laughs> she knew the drill in it. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> I step out now and I've got my tools and I walk over to the bushes. I look back and I see my mom, you know, loving eyes, trying to give me words of encouragement, you know. You can do it, my son. <laughs> Go on, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> and I see my brother, but he's got his camcorder out oh. and he's recording the whole thing, bro. Oh. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> one guy, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now, yeah. So I've done my business, cleaned up now, gone back to the car. It was a silent journey to the, to the next town, yeah. Anyway, good thing is the same thing luckily happened to my brother mm. on the way back. Yeah. You know? So he got to feel what it was like for me. Karma. Exactly, karma. Karma. Differences though, I put laxatives in his breakfast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my lead, that nigga. <laughs> oh, I get it. I remember when I, I must have first started working at my new job. And like, I didn't know food etiquette. I didn't know that you had to switch up what you were eating. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm eating chicken every day. It's like <laughs> KFC, chicken, but I'll switch it up. Chicken and rice, chicken and vegetables, chicken and pasta. Chicken and chicken. Chicken and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> chicken teriyaki, everything. <laughs> So then, obviously, that gives me the name. I get a nickname because of that. Peter, Peter, Chicken Eater. Oh. So I thought, that's racist. That, it has to be racist. Yeah, that's, 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 it has to be. I know I, I like, I do like chicken, but that's definitely racist. It is. <laughs> I just let it slide. It's got a nice ring, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I let it slide, because I was just like, bro, this has got a ring to it. Like, <laughs> so there's one day, yeah, like, people used to go to the fridge and everyone's food would be missing, innit? So at my work, like, you weren't allowed to eat at your desk. You had to eat in the dining area so the account oh, team would go and eat together. This girl goes to the fridge and she realises that her chicken's gone. <laughs> Where's Pia Pia chicken here? <laughs> they got a wanted poster for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as she opened the fridge, she just turned around and looked at him. <laughs> so she, you know what she you know? So she comes, all my team are eating together, yeah, but she comes and she stands like right in front of me, yeah. Like literally, she basically, she basically, she basically, she basically sitting on my lap, yeah. She's like, someone's stolen my chicken. But she's like looking at me, she's like, someone's stolen my chicken. And at this point, I'm like, She's talking about me. She's talking about me. I, I was laughing initially. I was like, this is not funny. She's talking about me. And I'm like, nah, you had your moment. 
Chick Peter Peter Chicken Eater, that was racist in itself, yeah. But you've gone to the next level now. You're taking, you're taking it too far. You're accusing H, me. Bob, HR's around the corner. I was like, I've had enough. I'm going to HR. I go talk to HR. I talk to them about incessant racism in the company. They're like, yeah, we're going to change it. Institutional racism. Institutional racism. It's pernicious. Everything, yeah. And after that, that was a traumatic conversation, isn't it? So I go and find a quiet space. I need, I need to relax my nerves. And I eat the chicken that I stole. <laughs> She moved like she ain't got no problem. No problem. I ain't got no problem. I move, I ain't got no problem. No problem. Cause we ain't got no problem. We move, we ain't got no problem. No problem. I ain't got I move, I ain't got no problem. No problem. We ain't got no problems, no problems, no problems.